G'day guys, geeks and girls, and welcome back to another episode of Geek Out Freak Out. I'm Josh, and let's get into today's video. So we're going to be unboxing the last one, the last piece we need for the King Shark build fig in Hawkman. So this one has, I think, the... Is it the left? One of the legs that I need to complete the King Shark build fig And I'm really excited about it. I hadn't released the video yet. Uh, I thought I'd just incorporate it in this this video. My good friend Brad from over at Brad the DC Universe Geek. Um, his links in the channel down below. I met Brad when we did uh, when he was doing his vlogging channel, the Vloggingsons, and he sent me a huge package full of all the Spare King Shark uh, pieces that I needed. So I didn't need to buy Batgirl, and I didn't need to buy the Joker, and also I did. Uh, unbox the flash, but I just really wasn't happy with the way the video turned out. It was my first video for this channel, and I just wasn't in the groove for it. It just was, it didn't flow. It I sounded boring. I, I it just was a uh, it was crap. It was essentially crap. So here's a, here's a sneak peek at that that thing. Boom. First thing I will say, face. Let's go right in on the face. He looks like an old man, and compared to his kind of counterpart on TV. Doesn't really look like it. Here's a photo of what he looks like on TV. This guy looks more of like a Kevin Sorbo old man. He's got, he looks like he's got gray hair. So the sculpting of the face isn't too great. Now that all that is out of the way, let's get right into unboxing Hawkman. Oh, he's a birdie. Boom, Hawkman from the DC Legends of Tomorrow. This is kind of a cool show. If you haven't seen it, you should totally watch it. It kind of does introduce a lot of the kind of offset characters that you really don't get to, to share or, you know, see on screen um, in the DC Universe. It's a really cool show. Rip Hunter uh, gets together a whole heap of people from the, the Flash and Arrow Universe, and it's really, really cool. Um, they go through time. It's first season, they, they take on Vandal Savage, which is really, really cool. Anyway, let's get into the figure, enough about the TV show, so let's have a look at the box. Hey, it's cardboard, amazing. So we have Mr. Broody Hawkman here, and we turn it like we have normally done, and there's King Shark, which I will build for you guys very soon. So we'll collect the Flash, Zoom, Jim Gordon. I haven't got Batgirl or the Joker because of Brad's uh, contribution from the to the King Shark. So I want to get those those uh, anyway because I want to collect the whole set as as it, as it always states in adverts. You know, collect the whole set. I think it says that collect and connect. King Shark Wave. All right, let's get into it. Such an easy easy box to undo. Boom. Don't need that. So okay, it's gonna be one of these just like Zoom. All right, that comes off. That's kind of cool. So let's get Hawkman out here. Boom, 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 sorry. All right, starting things off. Boom, King Shark leg. It's a leg from a shark, a mutant shark, and it looks awesome. Cannot wait to put this on the whole figurine. It's starting to come together and it looks amazing. So tune in for that video. I'll click up here if I've already done it. So um, yeah, to see King Shark getting built. Okay, so set that aside. Hawkman. <laughs> well, he's not really a hawk man right now. He's just a man with a silly mask on. Anyway, let's have a look at the mask. The mold of his face is is good. I mean, it hide, the, the the mask hides a lot of it, so they didn't really need to be too uh, careful with the way they molded the face. And uh, not unlike uh, the Flash, the the Flasher too. He he looked like a potato. We got this really cool red centerpiece here to strap all his shoulder shoulder pads on and everything like that nice leathery shoulder pads got the cool cool shirt on cool leathery leathery torso shirt thing <laughs> what's it called anyway he bends there nice articulation his arms are kind of stiff but they bend articulation he's got some really cool arm pads on you know in case he falls over and and great oh he's only got it on one one hand I wonder why that is 
Is it because he likes hawks landing on his arm and that's just a protective pad so he calls his hawks? No, I'm, I'm joking. That I, I totally know Hawkman does not do that. <laughs> but I'm just noticing he hasn't got one on this arm. So this is kind of like the, hey, birdie, birdie, come here. Anyway, he's got his nice belt. He's got some utility pad, um, belts there. They don't move. Uh, oh, well, they kind of do. So there's layers and stuff. Uh, his arm, his legs, uh, bendy knee articulation. His feet don't really have much articulation into ways of the. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's got like some padded uh, buttons here. Uh, as you. Uh, what does he need? Some sort of like. Is his pants too baggy or something? Uh, in the show, and he needs to do it up with some buttons or something. But yeah, really cool fig. Let's let's join the wings on and let's see what he looks like with the wings on. Just snap that into the back. There's a nice hole in the back there for you to snap it on. So click. Now the cool thing is, does his arms fold out? I mean, his wings fold out, and yes, they do. Have a look at that. That is an incredible figure. There's lots of detail in the wings as well. So he spans. Look, look, he spans quite a lot. His wingspan's quite huge. So yeah, that's that's really cool. He also comes with this, uh, is it a mace? Mallet? Mace? Bommy knocker looking thing? That's what I used to call it when I was a kid. Just like a, a mace. That fits in there nicely. So he can fly and whack people. Very, very cool figurine. I like it. Let's have a look at the back. So he's got some two, two hinges here for the wings to work. The wings are quite pla plasticky there. And you can you can imagine that you know that could snap off very easily if I did if I just go like that, but I'm not gonna do that because I like this figurine. But yeah, we'll fold his wings down. He's not in battle mode just yet. We'll put his arm down. And he's going to say thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Uh, so yeah, that is Orkman from DC Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, it's a pretty cool figurine in the in the line of uh, the King Shark Collectibles wave. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So next next video will be the King Shark video. I hope you're looking forward to that. And if you haven't yet, subscribe. And yeah, geek out.